Well, here we are at VK4 GXC. Let's turn down a little bit. And it's uh, 10 p.m. in the evening. Um, and I've uh, just been able to transplant the radical gear I had previously into a, uh, a more substantial rack with guides and slides. Um, I've also added the LF unit and the uh, front end pre selector. So it's pretty much what we saw previously. Um, and there's also a, um, a frequency standard down at the bottom here, which, uh, which will be ultimately hooked into the, the synth. And uh, yeah, a bit of a labor of love, but uh, it's interesting signals tonight. We've got a big opening on 40 and um, we've got some interesting signals coming through from the States. I'll probably turn up a little bit so you can hear them in the background. This is uh, VK4, uh, uh, I think it's um, Sugar Radio, is it, I think? Um, very strong signal here most times. But I'll just go in and, and pop zoom in on a few things here. So here's the uh, pre-select unit. And as you can see, it's just a back uh, adjustable system here, which allows you to pick it. And uh, pretty much just what you can do on that, obviously, is the main, the main band select. It's um, about a 1% bandwidth pre-select system. Typically, about 12 dB noise figure, 10 added to the signal, but uh, obviously this sort of band is not a real big deal, you know, no big problem. Uh, below that is the um, VLF unit, which, uh, as soon as I get some, some connectors for that, I'll, I'll get them all hooked up. I know it works, it's been working before. Um, but at the moment, that's just out of circuit. And uh, it allows you to uh, basically tune from 10 kilohertz right there through to 980. It's the band which basically the i17 doesn't normally cover very well. Um, so they built a specific VLF adapter for that, which is uh, this guy here. RA17 Mark II, this is one I displayed before, so not too much to, to, really, to really show there. But I was just uh, very surprised at how, uh, how good the signals were this evening, and um, very really booming through. You can hear me in the background there. I might just uh, sit back and just take in the ambiance a minute. So I'll just I'll jump on in here. The frequency setting is as per the synthesizer here, and that's saying 141.5. Um, we actually set it for one and a half kilohertz high, so that it is in the center of the three kilohertz selection on this guy. Excuse me, a little bit of a shake on the camera there. Um, and there's an also an additional one and a half kilohertz offset here. So that uh, basically they cancel each other out and you end up with um, with the lower sideband being sort of one and a half kilohertz low of this indicated frequency here. And uh, of course on the bottom there, 
there's the uh, Schultzer based frequency standard which was pretty much fair fair game uh, back in the 70s and, uh, and 80s um, this was actually quite a late manufactured unit um, had a few issues with it but basically it's all been running and uh, ultimately that will be uh, feeding the one one megahertz and five megahertz to the uh, standards so um, I'm just about there with the uh, complete setup and uh, additionally has a, a new rack which is come with a lot of guides and slides uh, which allow me to actually support all the equipment the way it's supposed to and I just thought it might have been a bit of an interesting show and tell just to show how it's uh, performing this evening it's performing exceptionally well Also, there's a very strong the, uh, USA signal here, I'd say, is a good 10 over 9. quite a few characters on tonight well um, i'll hold it there because it's getting a bit long now and i uh, just wanted to give a quick indicator uh, to the performance uh, characteristics of the system this is vk4 gxc off <laughs> 